one talks a lot about personalized health, but healthcare has always been personal. When a clinician was seeing a patient, he was giving personal treatment. He was using all the information available to make his diagnosis and to adapt the best treatment to that given patient. The difference is that today with the new technologies, we have access to a huge amount, a colossal amount of additional new information that comes on top of what was available before. The trouble is that that wealth of information is no longer interpretable by a single person. We need com computation power, and bioinformatics can do that. It has been very powerful in helping to understand life sciences, and the same tools can now be applied in the clinics and to provide help to the patient. That's what we refer to as clinical bioinformatics. Clinical bioinformatics is bridging the gap between bioinformatics and the medical realm. And our team within the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics is really very much involved in trying to create a, a, a dynamic and a very collaborative framework within Swiss hospitals. And in order to do that, we are working uh, with many uh, Swiss hospitals within working groups to, to share and, and most of all define common best practices for bioinformatics analysis in diagnostic. We also have a very, very close collaborations with some hospitals and in particular the University Hospital of Geneva. And with them we have developed a very specific tool that they use daily in routine for the diagnostic of, of cancer. And last but not least, uh, we are very much involved in training and in outreach because these new technologies are really about to deeply modify the way we, we envision healthcare, and we feel that it's of utmost importance that we are all involved.